Okay, we're back again. This is Paul, Inventor 3. Oh, there's my truck. Alright, now, there's our antenna now, our antenna pole here. Let's go back there real quick, take a quick look at the setup. It is hot today. 96 degrees in the lab. We're 90 degrees out here. There's our antenna pole setup. We got guide wires now, three of them. I actually need fourth, fourth one. Oh man, is it hot out here. Yeah, summer has come. There's one guide wire on that side. There's one guide wire. Let me get around this tree here. All the way at that end of the garage. Here's our pole. First length, nine feet, eight feet, eight feet, eight feet, eight feet. So eight feet, what do we got? One, two, three, four, we got 41 feet. Our height is at 41 feet. Uh, let me bring you over here to where the wire is. The actual, not that I know you see the guide wires, but you need to see the circuit. I'm over here in the corner of the yard. That wire goes up. Uh, it's not touching any of the trees. It might appear that way from the camera angle. But our antenna does not. The wire goes up that pole. Does not touch any branches. Comes all the way down here. Okay, here's the circuit. Again, we're just using a single circuit now. The double circuit added, uh, almost doubled the, the current, I believe. So I might be adding that circuit on because we'll be, we will be needing some more current. Uh, let's see. So we're 41 feet high. This is our grounding rod here. Let's see. The length of the antenna wire is 56 and a half feet long, and our ground is only 23 inches deep right now. And here is the results. We finally made it over 20 volts. Woohoo! It's about time, Paul. Not as much as I wanted, really. I wanted 25 to 30. But I believe we could get that with adding a lot deeper ground. A lot more copper in the ground here. Uh, stay away from trees and plants that you like. I hear that the copper in the ground uh, kills roots and systems and that. I don't know if that's a, just a myth or not. But uh, anyhow, we're at uh, just over 20 volts now. And let's check what our current is. Hold on one second. Unplug that. Oh, no amp. That's better. Okay, we only had 0.1. Oh, it's flashing back and forth. Okay, so we're probably closer to 0.2 milliamps now. So, that's not bad. Get a deeper ground and a little more voltage. And the next thing will be to get a portable radio working here instead of just a calculator. Um, I should have had that here to show you real quick. Well, I'll have to show you that in the next uh, video. But I'm sure with uh, what you see on the results I'm getting right now, you shouldn't have a problem believing that I can get a calculator to work. But getting a portable radio will be something else. So that'll be next and, and then to play with the circuit. That's the main thing I really want to do is uh, improve the circuit here. Uh, try all the, I guess, all different ideas. 
uh, magnets to prime it to, to, to dic uh, pick up different frequencies uh, to amplify uh, the voltage and current uh, to hopefully get some kind of resonance uh, type oscillations going in the circuit to get everything pumping. So anyhow, that's where we're at now. Just over 20 volts, 0.2 milliamps, 41 feet high, 56 and a half feet length of wire, and 23 inches deep ground. Signing off, we'll see you again.